Hi, um, this is going to be a video which is, I'm going to have try and have three videos which are about Jean-Luc Marion. Um, this is a French phenomenologist and uh, I have done some reading of him before but this is probably the first time I've been, I guess, confident enough to talk about him here. So, um, essentially what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do three videos. One of which was going to be about um, his idea of givenness. Um, the next would be about uh, his idea of saturated saturated phenomenon, and um, you know the ones that, the, in the the kinds that, that he talks about, including event, idol, flesh, and re and, re and revelation. Um, that's I think it's a fa it's a fascinating concept. His saturated phenomenon. And then the next one will be his concept of his phenomenological concept of sacrifice. Um, I have a book by him. It's not by it's well it's, it's a by, it's of his lectures called the reason for the gift, and it has um, stuff in there about um, the given uh, a little bit about ses, about saturated phenomenon and uh, one whole one whole essay about. Uh, about the phenomenological concept of sacrifice, so um, and I've you know read a lot of other things which um, include um, stuff about his saturated phenomenon as well as his own. I read read parts of Being Given. Uh, I've read a little bit of uh, God of God with without being. It's very early in the morning. It's like seven. So. Um, Pretty much what I'm going to do here is I'm going to read two things here in in this little thing about the, in, this, in this video about the given. Um, first thing I'm going to read is um, a a good description about Jean-Luc Marion's idea of the given, but it involves the uh, a couple components of it. There's a, there's few. Um, this one doesn't it doesn't talk about anamorphosis or fait, or, or fait accompli, um, but it talk, talks about unprecedented landing. Um, and then uh, incident, and then one, and then one other one, and then after that I'll go into um, um, uh, up, up, uh, on a lecture by uh, by Marion, which is um, pretty much a historical analysis of the concept of the concept of the given. He he, he tra traces that he traces that back to late Husserl and early and early Heidegger. Specifically, Heidegger in his early reading, um, Zeit on Zeit, not Zeit on Zeit, but being time, but on on time and on time and being. So, um, pretty much, givenness is talking about is is this idea of the German word gegebenheit. Um, it's also um, the French concept of of donation. Um, now he talks about the given. Uh, the given, if you look at um, contemporary contemporary epistemology, Wil Wilfred Sellers t talks about this. And the given is is is, is essentially s s sense data. Um, you know, when I look at this coffee cup, it has a certain shape, um, shape, size, and um, color. And um, the those things, like if you talk if you talk to G. E. More, you get this patch, um, a patch that has size, shape, and color. But that's, you know, he he talks about in this, in in that in the lecture in the, in the reason for the gift, the very first one, um, tracing back of the concept of the given or givenness. He talks about how it's about how we're trying to go from Erkens theory um, or the the theory of knowledge, which is contemporary. Epistemology um, to um, to looking at the given as a mode of, of phenomenality, and um, and you know pretty much to phenomenology, having a phenomenological uh, analysis of this, and also not looking at the given as a ontic given. Um, ontic when we talk, when we talk about ontic when you when you read Heidegger, um, ontic um, is really Talking about existences or ex or existence and not not and not ontological being, 
Just like if you read if you read the introduction to to Heidegger, he talks about how design has ontico ontological priority, which means it has its ontic and its ontological at, at the same time. Um, how we how we how design, which is which is in each case mine, um, does relate to me because of its ontic priority, but it, it, it also relates to being, big being, ontological being. Anyway, let's get back to Marion. Um, I'm going to read um, uh, an essay which explains the, a few components of this, which, which does so better than I would. So pretty much we're, we're, we're talking about givenness, we're talking about that which pre presents itself, the givenness of phenomena. Um, Specifically, we're talking about the mode of of, of, of phenomenality, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. So I'm going to read this essay, uh, or, or a part of it, which explains the, com the components of givenness better, better than I would. And then I'll go to um, the very um, the very uh, essay from from Mario. Um, I've got my iPad here. Um, In Book 3, Marion introduces the essential characteristics of the given phenomenon, each of which describes how the event becomes accessible. So, um, talking about the, the, how the given becomes accessible to us. Anamorphosis, unpredict unpredictable landing, incident, event, and fate are complete. Here, what is significant about, about these features of the, of the given is, is, be is that, that because they are neither metaphysical nor, nor, nor causal, the given is not de is not determined by any transcendental conditions, though each of these characteristics could be could be discussed in detail. I have I have decided on three: the the un the unpredictable landing, the the incident, and the event, because each provide examples of the ways in which Marion de deconstructs the foundational elements of the of the, tr of the tr traditional metaphysical landscape. So this is very it, this is very interesting because he kind of breaks down this. Um, of the traditional metaphysical ideas, with his discussion of the of the un, of the unpredictable landing, Marion de deconstructs the traditional definition of con, of contingency as, as the property of what is not necessary, and likewise su suggests that metaphysical opposition between contingency and necessity becomes irrelevant in phenomenology. So, if you look at traditional metaphysics, um, you talk about necessary beings and you talk about Contingent beings, um, necessary um, or contingent beings, uh, being those that um, are dependent on others in, in, way, in ways or another, and necessary ones being those that stand in their own feet, so so to speak. So we have uh, here comes he here comes here comes my cat. Anytime he he, he hears my voice, he comes. <laughs> um, Hi, Paul. 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 Hi, Paul. Okay, anyway. With it, with this with his with his discussion of the of the unpredictable landing, Mario deconstructs the the traditional definition of contingency as the property of what is not necessary, and likewise suggests that the, the metaphysical opposition between contingency and necessity being becomes irrelevant in, in, in phenomenology. In fact, it shows itself to be inadequate, indeed, indeed, indeed erroneous. In this section, Marion, Marion interacts with a well-known passage from Aristotle in order to show that Aristotle has to admit that the, the, necessary, that the necessity of, of, what, 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 Paul, of event X occurring or not remains inscribed within the horizon of the possibility. Um, in, in addition to deconstructing this necessity, he, he also questions whether potentiality. See, see, Paul. What you want? 
doing something, asshole. Sorry. Um, you know, in addition to deconstructing, to, de due to deconstructing necessity, he also questions whether potentiality must be thought in a lesser way than than actuality. Instead, Marion says that something arrives to me in a way that I am not determining it, i.e., it contingently imposes itself on me. So, un unprecedented landing is really, um, it's how the given, the, the, the sense data, or um, something arrives to me without without me causing it. I'm not I'm not de, I'm not de, 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 determining it. Um, we get this verb or this word imposes its, itself on me. Um, I'm not causing this this given to come on me. It is there. This these given things are here, and um, it's that's why I call it. He calls it unprecedented landing because it's not by my determination. With his with his discussion or tur turning his to his di discussion of the incident, Mario de de deconstructs the tr the traditional understanding of, su of su substance and accident. In the tr in the tradition, su substance has always been given primacy. So he's just kind of um, in these in these dis discussions of the, of the given. He's kind of bre breaking down um, breaking down these traditional met metaphysical dichotomies. Um, in tradition, substance has always been given primacy. Marion, however, wants, wants us to think of the, of the incident in terms of accident. So, again, we, we, we encounter a challenge to traditional metaphysics with its static presence over, over dynamism. Substance has been understood as something of stable, yet accidents, yet it acts, yet its accidents can, can of course, change. Marion, however, subverts this, this idea and says that substance shows itself only as accident of the accident, as second order incident. Th this new pr privileging of accident over, over su substance su suits, suits Marion's, Marion's projects, project as well as accident, has, a de has the, de the, the determinations of givenness much more than substance. So, incident, um, Talking about accident over substance, over, over substance. Now, when we talk about traditional metaphysics of me metaphysics of, su of substance, we're talking about we have this we have a theory of of, su of substance having having primacy because it is more stable. Um, event likewise challenges the tradition of, of, of primacy of cause over effect. Here, Mario Owen says that the that the traditional claim. That the cause precedes the, the effect is, is mistaken. The, the effect should instead be given be given primacy. Now I like I like I like this one too. Um, in metaphysics and in in, in philosophy of mind, um, there is a kind of cause effect kind of philosophy which gives gives cause the, the whole the whole the whole primacy when you would think in in any in, in in any kind of in, a, in in any kind of phenomenology, you know, you would be you would be giving the effect primacy. Um, as Marion points out, even even Aristotle would say that an effect is first for us, but in, but in itself, itself the cause is first. Thus, in our analysis of givenness, we must accept that a phenomenon that that gives itself gives itself as an effect that 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 cannot be be, be reduced to its causes it, it, it contains more reality than that its causes to, to illustrate his point my own gives the give the gives the example of world war one there have been numerous exclamations offered concerning the cause of the cause of, the, of this event <coughs> so instead of reducing the effect to, to the cause we should we should allow the, the effect to be, to be taken seriously Allow the given to be given. In other words, Marion Marion wants to wants to, wants to emphasize that the, that the event is something that resists the reduction to its causes. So these are the three things that are discussed by this one. He leaves out anamorphosis and and fait complete.
So we have this idea of the given, and um, it's from this that I would like to um, go to uh, Marion's discussion, with that, which I think is really brilliant. So pretty much we have these three things here, and it's kind of... In a way, it's saying that we have the we have the effects. The given gives us the effect. We need to let the given be given, without trying to reduce it to other things. Without without trying to reduce it to its causes. Um, traditional metaphysics is, metaphysics is going to try to you know reduce all these things to causes as well as you know reduce accident to substance and have substance have have, have, have primacy. So that was it was very important okay I'm gonna start with this with the second uh, part of this essay it's called the the, the phenomenological origins of, of the, co the concept of givenness it's a it's a historical it's a, it's a historical analysis but it gives uh, it, it traces it back to Heidegger to establish the phenomenological status of givenness beginning with with Heidegger we, we, we can proceed with it without any transition to Zeit to, to, to Zeit and sign. <coughs> which develops quite explicitly without explicitly the the original function of as gift. Now let's discuss as as gift. Um, when we say in German as gift, blah blah blah, we're talking about there is. Um, when we you know we we can we can say things like. Um, um, we don't. We don't always have to use as gibt. Uh, we can. We can use the word. We can use the verbs, sein, um, to be. We can say that. Um, uh, we can say ich bin, du bist, er sie ist, man ist, uh, wir sind, ihr seid, and sie sind. We can use this verb, of sein. But what is what is often used to, to say there is, um, 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 if was, if so, like, if someone asks how the, how the weather, how the weather is, um, you know, or, or, or anything like what is there for, for dinner, we can say, es gibt, blah, 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 saying there is, there is this, there, there is, or there is that, so es gibt in German, um, it is a way of saying there is. Just like in English, within within philosophy, if we say that something is given, we're talk we are we are talking about what there is, the the effect. Um, nevertheless, I shall not I shall not I shall, I shall not take this word because in a certain way, this text more operatic than its than its conclusive. Does not establish givenness in detail. The Kreisnot semester of of of, of 1919, but the, but this approach remains it remains debatable, even even if the even if the if, even if the discussion Heidegger was then conducting with with Natorp and and Rickard. Um, Marion does does talk about some writers that were important in Heidegger's time, like uh, Emil Lask, um, Rickert. Um, Henri, um, the Torp, uh, and then there, and then, and there, there, there's a few others, but they they were phenomenologists too. And Heidegger talks about the Torp in in uh, various books as well. Uh, I wish I could get my hands on on, on, on some of that stuff. In this in his book, Zeitung and Zeit, he didn't have you know what what we get in Zion and Zeit. We did, he didn't have the analytic of that Zion or 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 or, 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 or no, that stuff. Um, the risk of drawing incorrect correspondence in, in this reading between the beginning and the eventual accomplishment, and, and of making imprudent anticipations, would become almost inevitable. It seems then that the surest path to examine the 
the function in the reach of givenness in, in Zainun Tai itself. For even if these do, do, do not affect the occurrences of of Gabenheit, but of but of Esgibt, they appear as as significant as they are difficult to to, inter inter to interpret. Okay. Now Heidegger says, but what we call many things exist in science, and in different senses, we, we every, every, everything we talk about, mean, and, and are related to, is in being one way or another. What and how we we ourselves are is also is also in being. Being is found in the fact that the fact and the manner of being. In reality, in the in the presence to, to end of things, substance, validity, and existence, and in the it gives as as gift. Two. In which being being is is the meaning of being to be found, from which the being is is the is the dis disclosure of being to get a start. Here one hears, in fact, on echo of of of, Br of Brent Howe's question on the on the plurality of of the meanings of being. And then, and then we get to three, which has a very important thing here, I think. Um, and yet, an interpolated clause provides a first indication. Um, the world itself is not on, is not an innerworldly being, and yet, and yet it, and yet it de determines innerworldly beings to to such a, an extent that, it, that they can only be encountered and discovered. And show themselves in their being, because it gives the world as gift their felt. But but how does it, it but how does it, it, it give the world? But how does it give the world? So how does the world yield in a worldly beings? So in here he's talking about he's Marion is is talking about about Heidegger, and he says something that's pretty pretty important I think that I'm going to get to. Um, and it kind of, what kind of happens here is he kind of discusses a bit of a, um, a relation of being in between, <coughs> <coughs> in between, I guess, the ontic and the, and the, in the, in the, in the ontological, I guess, or what he's calling, um, the beings and the being. Being is discovered only in the world, precisely because it is only insofar as it is, as it is, inner, innerworldly, never without an already open world. From this, from this transcendental authority of the world over the innerworldly being, it obviously follows that, that, that the world is not numbered among the innerworldly beings, and because only the being is, it is necessary to, to infer from this that the world. Which is not which is not a being cannot probably be said to be. Thus, we will not say that say that the world is, but but rather with with all rigor, it gives escaped the world. That escaped the world. Um, the world by saying it, it by saying it it gives the world escaped the world. Um, that, that means the world is being, is being presented by givenness. A similar exclusion from being of that which cannot be defined as a being is specifically confirmed in 44 of, 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 of Sight and Sign, which summarizes the fundamental accomplishment of the first section of the, of the, of the published part by, by enthroning as gift as such in the, ex, in the existential and analytic. Zion, or here I'll read the right version. It gives as gift being, not beings, only in so far as the as, as as truth is, and truth is only because as long as as long as design is, being and truth are, are, being and truth are, they they exist equal 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 primordially. The first sentence confirms the preceding point. If only beings are. And if being certainly cannot be explained 
in terms in terms of being, then being itself is in the strict sense sense is not. But but comes to pass by virtue of an as gift. Conversely, design privileged as 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 it may appear in relation to all to all, to all other beings, still remains a being, and thus one can say of, of it that it, that that it is. This contrast, moreover, serves only to ratify a formula from 43 of of Sight and Zine. However, only as long as as uh, as design is, that is, as long as there is the viantic the, 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 the possibility of an understanding of being, it gives being, keep this being. At the risk of over of over simplifying, it would be necessary to conclu to conclude that that the difference between beings and being passes between that which is and that which and that that which it gives. So I read this because I think that I think that it's very interesting to think about beings and being, thus the ontic of beings ex of. Existences, science in German, and being the the ontological um, sign. The um, you know, I, I think it's interesting to look at to look at design like this. But but what's being said here, not only by Heidegger but Marion, I think it's um, this is I guess kind of a kind of a discussion of Heidegger and and Marion, but. I think this is very interesting to think about Marion's concept concept of, of givenness, um, because what is given to us, everything that is given to us, um, everything that is given to us and given in in the given, givenness, um, kind of bridges a little gap, I guess, um, kind of um, gives us gives you know. A bit of a connection, um, because, like like was said, the world um, doesn't give the the inner worldly beings. The world is as gaped. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat repeat this 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 last sentence. At the risk of, or let's here. However, only only as long as Dasein is, that is, as long as there is the beyondic beyondic possibility of an of an understanding of being, it gives there is being. At the risk of over oversimplifying, it would be necessary to conclude that the if the, if the difference between beings and being passes between that which is and that which it gives. Passes between that which is and that which it gives. So I think that there are two things that brings, I guess, the ontic and the in the ontological to get together. And that would only that, that would be that, that would be, of course, Dasein, which you know, uh, if you read the beginning, if you read the beginning, if you read the Introductions to Heidegger's being in time, you get a, you get a very a very good understanding of how design is has ontical has has ontical ontological priority, how it's ontic and ontological at the same time. So you if you read that you get this you get that on that understanding. So that like I I think that Heidegger if you read him you get this idea of design as if, if you read the Later Heidegger, if you read if you read er, if you read earlier Heidegger, in in Zeit und Sein, you get um, you you do get a good concept of givenness, of given height or as gift. Uh, but really, um, the I think that there are two things between Marion and Heidegger, which kind of bridge a little bit of a gap. Or bring together in a way, um, the ontic and the and the and the ontological, thus beings and being. Um, we have escaped, we have the given, and we have givenness, 
uh, the, the givenness of the world is presented to us with uh, with un, unprecedented landing um, incident and event. Um, so we have those things, and that's how it how how it is given, and that's how es gibt. Um, so, in a way, es gibt um, will bring to the eye the 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 the, the transcendental eye of a Cyril. It brings to us all all of this. Um, and that's how we can, you know, uh, we, how we can set up because of the, of the given, we can set up phenomenological intentionality. Um, you know, we can, we set that up at every time something that is not a saturated phenomena sets, sets up how, that's how we, that's how we do that. But givenness has to be there first before, before we can do such, such a thing. Um, so... On the one side, Marion does present givenness and the given, which does happen to um, happen in, in in my opinion anyway. And as Marion is, is is talking about, he says here um, that the difference between being and beings passes between that which is being and that which it gives. So in a way. Um, It passes between that which is and that which and that which and that which it gives. So, um, escaped givenness has has a has a role in um, in uh, having having things in in pre presenting, you know that that which is ontic and and, and also that which is um, and through and through all of this being given. We are presented with um, not only existence, science, um, but also we are also presented with sign or being, um, just because of the given this this concept, and also that design has 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 the, the, same, the same thing going for it as well, because of the ontological of the ontological ontological priority. So, my conclusion here is that this concept, this concept of givenness, I think, should be um, looked at merely. Um, I think, I because I, I think, well, Marion has a, has roots in Husserl. Husserl had roots in Kant, and so he has roots in 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 Husserl and thus and thus and thus Kantian ideas. So, I believe uh, Marion kind of looks at phenomenology and that method and intentionality in in lots of ways that 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 that, that Cyril did. So, um, I I mean, givenness is a is a really neat concept I think because it especially with with these kind of with you know how we can how we can get this little difference and I guess I think I think in a way it does bridge bridge that gap so I don't know this that's pretty pretty interesting this is this was pretty much a reading and kind of a ramble but um I, I wanted to discuss this this concept because it's Mar Jean Luc Marion is pretty pretty interesting not 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 only because he does um, break down this traditional metaphysics metaphysics with it with his concept of given but um it's also interesting because of these questions of being and beings so yeah um let me know if you have anything to contribute to this um i'll be doing a video on on saturated phenomenon as well as sacrifice soon so yeah thank you